Bridgerton characters wore modern day outfits. What would they look like and who would they be in modern society? Well today we are going to find out. What's up guys? It's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia Taylor or New T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday and occasionally on Fridays if I feel like it. Now if you guys haven't seen the new hit series on Netflix, Bridgerton, it's basically uh, the best show in the world because it has the best outfits, the best set design, it's so cute and amazing and ethereal. And if you guys didn't know, it was actually an original book series by the author Julia Quinn. Now what's so amazing when they take books and turn them into movies or series is you get to actually see these characters come to life and I did not read the series. Don't come for me, but these characters are so amazing and dynamic and I can't wait to show you what they would look like if their costumes or their outfits from the 18th century had a modern spin. Now if you've seen the show, odds are you have a favorite character, me included. This is so much fun because you'll get to see if that character's modern style kind of mimics yours. I'm really excited to get started. I have my tiara ready, you know. I am in character, so we can go ahead and get started. Thank you so much to Fashion Nova for partnering with us on this video and providing these amazing outfits. If you like any of them, they will be linked down below. And thank you so much to everyone that supports the sponsors so we can continue to make videos like this on my channel. So without any further ado, let's get started. And let me know you guys if you want to see this as kind of a series on my channel where I make modern outfits out of characters. This kind of reminds me of those like artists that go viral on TikTok and Instagram where they reimagine like Disney characters and they give them modern day looks. I feel like that's so creative and fun. So be sure to like this video and leave a comment. So starting off, we will begin with Daphne Bridgerton. Daphne Bridgerton is the main character, I guess, of the Bridgerton series. I would describe her personality as very light, very trustworthy, very soft spoken, but speaks up when she has to. Just like an overall, a really good character. They describe her as the diamond of the social season in the series. She's like a big deal. She comes from the Bridgerton family, which is one of the most influential families in the city that they live in, which I don't know what city this takes place. Comment down below if you know. Everyone's eyes are on Daphne to see who she is going to marry during this social season. And her character's style is amazing, first off, but it's very light and it's very feminine and soft. And I wanted to capture that in my modern Daphne look, which is this light blue two piece set that has the ruching and it's very girly. The powder blue is the Bridgerton family colors, by the way. If you can remember, each family has their own colors that they all wear during the social season. And the Bridgertons always wore the blue, so we had to go with that. I also felt like I've seen Daphne in a black bow before, so I put a bow in her hair. I added some gold butterfly jewelry because to me, Bridgerton gives me the energy of like butterflies and bumblebees and spring and flowers and things like that. And to top it all off, I gave Daphne these diamond heels since she is called the diamond in the series. And that is my interpretation of if Daphne was a modern character or if she lived in modern day, what her style would look like. Comment down below if you thought it was accurate at all or if you would wear this outfit. Actually, let's make this a fun game. Comment your favorite character before you even see their outfit and then you can like edit your comment and let me know if you would wear their modern outfit. Moving right along to our next Bridgerton character, which is Eloise Bridgerton. Eloise is one of my favorite characters on the series because she doesn't necessarily fit in with society of the 1800s or whenever this took place. She's very intelligent, she is very independent, and she likes to create her own path, which is why I love her so much. And so for Eloise's outfit, I wanted to encapsulate that energy by putting her in 
pants. This ensemble is the Bridgerton Family Colors. It's a light blue sweater, very comfortable, very practical with a white dress pant paired with white sandal slip-on shoes. I do feel like putting her in pants was a little bit of a choice, but I think if Eloise was able to make the choice whether or not she could wear pants in her time period, she totally would have opted out for pants because they're just way more practical and she is all about breaking those standards down. Also, I know Eloise does not wear glasses, but I decided to give her glasses because she's intellectual, she's smart, and that kind of like brings the character out. And lastly, I gave her the butterfly earrings and a pearl headband. I know that she is often seen wearing this headband ensemble in the show, so I thought this would give a nice modern twist. Comment down below if Eloise was your favorite Bridgerton character and if this outfit is something that you would wear. But moving on, our next character, maybe my, no, this isn't my favorite character, but she's right up there, Penelope Featherington. I absolutely love how Penelope kind of has, like, if you've seen the series, no spoilers here, but she has a huge twist at the end of season one, and we really find out a lot about who she is. I feel like she's undermined in the entire series, and it isn't until the end that we really realize who she is. So she's very dynamic. I absolutely love her characters. So here is the modern outfit for Penelope Featherington. I feel like out of all of the outfits that I put together, she might be the most spot on because this dress, you guys, does this not look like something she would wear? The puff sleeves and the orange and yellow tones. If you guys remember, the Featherington family colors were very bright. They were often seen in yellows and oranges and sometimes neon greens, but a lot of the times it was more on the yellow side. So this this puff sleeve mini dress and these sparkly platform heels are perfect for the Featherington family colors and their ensemble. I also decided to give Penelope a half up kind of like on top of her head pony because she's very bubbly, very outgoing, and very kind. And that pony on top of her head, I feel like she would totally wear that for some reason. I don't know why. And Penelope is also often seen wearing a lot of jewelry as well. I notice that her character is always wearing like some sort of big necklace. So I put her in this huge chain heart necklace that I feel like is perfect because the heart is also kind of symbolic for Penelope. She is the only character that's really struggling to find love throughout the entire series. She can't nail it down and the heart represents just how big her heart is for her friends and her family and for the guy that she loves but unfortunately cannot seem to to love her back. So I really wanted to capture that part of her story in the outfit. So what do you guys think of Penelope Featherington's look? If she wore modern day clothes, comment down below if you think this one was accurate. Personally, I'm gonna pat myself on the back because this was the most accurate like closet cosplay I feel like I could have come up with. But moving on, yes, we are still not done. Speaking of Featheringtons, she's not technically a Featherington, but she does live with the Featherington family. That's a tongue twister, Featherington family, Featherington family. They take her in because I think the story was she grew up on a farm and she needed a place to stay. There was some sort of issue going on with her parents and she needed to stay with Mr. and Mrs. Featherington and their daughters during the social season and this was her first ever time I guess being introduced to society. Her character is a little bit of a fish out of water but in like a good way. A lot of people are extremely jealous of this character. They want to be her. They want to be with her because she's just effortless. Marina Thompson. She is often caught wearing more simple outfits. I think it's because Mrs. Featherington, the mother of the family, was jealous of her and wanted her own daughters to be successful over Marina. Marina, and it wasn't until later on in the season that they actually started giving her nicer clothes. So she is a little bit more muted. But for Marina Thompson, this is the outfit that I chose. This mustard color mini skirt with the ruffle cap sleeves with the sparkly Featherington shoes once again, the gold butterfly jewelry, and my absolute favorite part, the heart headband on the forehead. This is actually a necklace that I got and I just fashioned it to go over her head because Marina is often pictured with this like sort of drapery headband situation. And it's so beautiful and so 
so modern. If we could like make this a trend in modern day where we just put necklaces on our forehead, that would be great because this is so cute. And this is what Marina Thompson would look like, in my opinion, if she wore a modern outfit because she's simple, she's elegant, she's not over the top like a lot of the other characters, but she still wears the Featherington family colors. So the yellow and the gold still rings pretty true. But comment down below if Marina Thompson was your favorite Bridgerton character and if you would wear this modern Marina outfit. <laughs> Continuing right along, we are moving on to one of my favorite characters. I know I say that for probably all of them. <laughs> Sienna Rozo. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is the opera singer that falls in love with the Bridgerton brother. I forget his first name, but she is not at all a part of traditional society. She is an entertainer. She makes her own way, makes her own living. And a lot of people would say she was known for being a little on the promiscuous side, but I find her character inspiring because she is liberated at the end of the series sexually. And there's something powerful about that, about someone taking control of her own body and not letting society tell her what to do. Now, Sienna is often pictured wearing more scandalous looking clothes. I see her a lot in the color wine and red. Here's what I really love about the Bridgerton book series or the author Julia Quinn. With these character names, I can't even believe how good she was at describing them just by their names. I imagine if you read the books, which I didn't, but if you did, you could almost paint the picture of each of these characters in your mind by just reading their name. Like for example, Sienna, which is the first name of the character, is actually a shade of like orangey red. Whether you knew that or not, it kind of like paints a picture for you. And then the last name Rousseau or Roso reminds you almost of like a red rose, right? And they really captured that in her character in my own personal opinion. So I wanted to push that forward in her modern outfit by putting her in this red puff sleeve mini dress along with a lace up corset, tall black boots and a black choker. She needed those black accessories. Since she is an entertainer, she does definitely dress different than all of the other characters. Like I said, she's sexually liberated. She makes her own rules. So her clothes are a little more on the sexy side. And to top it all off, I totally thought for some reason like Sienna and like the snake was kind of like a symbol of who she kind of was. Not that she was a snake, like that sounds really bad, but with like the snake earring, it just seems very similar to her character. So I felt like she would definitely wear that. Like, let me know if you think this looks like Sienna. I would totally see her like wearing this to a night out or to perform as a singer. This outfit is so, so, so cute. And I feel like also really accurate in my opinion. So if Sienna was your favorite character, comment below if you would wear this modern outfit. Now, finally, our last Bridgerton character that I'm going to turn modern. You might have forgotten about her. Personally, I, I actually am gonna say she is my favorite character for style inspiration. I feel like they always give the mean girl the best style for some reason. Like, why do they always do that? Because then I'm just attracted to them for their style and not their personality. So like I said, you may have forgotten about this character because I know she didn't have very many scenes, but Cressida Cowper is the B word or the mean girl of the season. But like I said, personally out of all the characters has the best style. And she also comes from a very influential family. She is kind of in direct competition with Daphne Bridgerton, our main character. Cressida is often pictured in extravagant dresses and headpieces. Like she comes from a very wealthy family. Like they dress her character up so beautifully. And I think a lot of times she's pictured in pink. Ugh, I, I, I love this character. I really love like the costumes in this whole series were amazing, but her hairstyles and headpieces and costumes were chef's kiss. So for Cressida Cowper, here is her modern day outfit. This intricate puff sleeve mini pink dress covered in floral print is exactly what I feel like Cressida would definitely wear. It catches the eye, it gets your attention, it's fancy, it's extravagant, and super pretty. Of course, I tied her hair back in a slick ponytail because for some reason I felt like Cressida would definitely be that girl that wears the slick back ponytail. And 
And again, we're seeing the head pieces. Her character always wears these bejeweled like forehead situations. Like her hair is either braided on her forehead or there's diamonds like dangling on her forehead, almost like a, like a forehead crown. So I put a diamond forehead crown piece on her head along with matching diamond earrings and those same diamond shoes that we put on Daphne. But I put them on Cressida too because Cressida wanted to be the diamond, okay? Okay, she wanted to be the main girl for the social season and it just didn't work out for her. Like the queen did not pick her and she's a little bitter. She's a little bitter at Daphne. And so she's competing for the attention of all of the potential suitors, including a prince, which is why the crown that I'm wearing right now also goes on Cressida's character because she wants that crown. She wants to be the princess. She wants to be the diamond. She wants to be valued. And there's something really beautiful about how they pictured that in her character. So I'm not sure how many of you guys would have picked Cressida as your favorite character. I know she's often forgotten in the Bridgerton series, but personally, I really love her for her style out of all of the characters. But comment if you thought that this was accurate or if any of the characters were accurate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, these outfits were so much fun putting together. I feel like the Bridgerton series is my favorite Netflix series right now. It is so amazing and magical and just beautiful to watch. It's like watching a painting and I know it has for good reason formed a cult fan base because it's just so good. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you watch it. Once again, all of the outfits that you see from this video will be listed down below so you can shop from Fashion Nova. Thank you again so much to Fashion Nova for partnering with us on this video and providing all of these beautiful looks for me to put together for you guys. So there you guys have it. That was Bridgerton characters if they wore modern day outfits. I love you guys so much. Let me know if you want me to make this a series. You can leave your suggestions down below if you want to see any other characters, maybe either Disney Prince princesses or whatever turned into modern outfits. If you guys like fashion videos, I will leave a playlist right here for you to watch more like this and you can entertain yourself for hours. This was so much fun. I love you guys. I thank you so, so much for watching. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed, but most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye.